An incoming Donald Trump administration likely means changes to how the U.S. approaches international relations, including support for Ukraine. I'm Matt Gelka in Washington with more on what it could mean for the country's war with Russia. Fighting between Ukraine and Russia rages on. New escalations include drone strikes in Moscow and surrounding areas and a new agreement between Russia and North Korea, with North Korean troops joining the fight on Russia's side. If I'm president, I will have that war settled in one day, 24 hours. That was a vow from Donald Trump last year. And now that he's on his way back to the White House, Ukraine's support is again under the microscope. Trump has already spoken with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, a call that also featured Elon Musk. The Washington Post reports Trump also spoke with Russia's Vladimir Putin, warning him not to escalate the situation. The Kremlin says the report is pure fiction. We need to focus on our own issues first, and I've taken a lot of heat over it from Mitch McConnell, from the Wall Street Journal. Yeah. But this is what the American people spoke up and want us to do. We should never have been in Ukraine. Trump's allies say the billions worth of aid going to Ukraine from the U.S. needs to stop. The United States has provided more than $64 billion since the start of the war in 2022. Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr., shared this post on Instagram, originally posted by former Republican vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin, showing Ukraine's president with the caption saying he's going to lose his allowance. The White House has about $6 billion left to spend from an April aid package approved by Congress. The administration plans to rush the remaining resources before a new regime takes control in January. President Biden made clear when President Zelensky was here in Washington a couple of months ago that we would spend all of the resources that were provided to us by the Congress mm -hmm. on time and in full, meaning that by January 20th, we will have sent the full amount of resources and aid to Ukraine that Congress has authorized. What's not clear is the strategy for ending the war and whether or not that means Ukraine would have to give up land or continue the fight against Russia on its own. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelka.